There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. All submission, sacrifice, so freely given. There is power in the name of Jesus. This is a prophetic word for 2022. That's the song the Holy Spirit put on my heart. I'll tag, you know, um, which song that is. I didn't come up with it. Um, I don't honestly remember who sang it awkward but i'll put it below um just so you know who actually sang that song but this is a prophetic word um and you want to know it's super duper interesting and how the holy spirit works with me um is he doesn't let me know where he's going with things a lot of time like i'll just have a concept or he'll just say press record and then i just start recording um so i don't even know fully where we're gonna go with this and i love because he just gets to take this. This is not me. This is not me having concepts and ideas. This is the Holy Spirit saying, this is what you need to look for in 2022. This is some key things that are going to happen. Um, and anytime we, you know, prophesy like this, uh, I only know in part, the Holy Spirit will only let me know in part. So there's other pieces of the puzzle that I do not yet know and you know maybe some other people know maybe none of us know yet but the holy spirit will let certain people who are called prophets um discern the days that we're in and really prophesy in or speak the words the holy spirit's asking us to speak um to help people get prepared and that's something the holy spirit has asked me to do is help prepare people and then help get people ready um for what jesus has for them and and what we can expect in this world so we're not just like ah what's going on you know we we know what's going on and oftentimes prophecy and you know prophets they they get a bad name they get a bad rep because there has been some um i think error in teaching correctly what prophecy is and what a prophet is and uh just the difference between the gift versus the office of a prophet, which I'll go into in later days. That's not the point of this video. But um, if you've never really heard a prophecy before of, you know, times and seasons word, uh, I want you to, as the Holy Spirit leads, listen to this video and process out with him what you are hearing and bring it back to him what you are hearing. But I don't want you to just count this out and be like, oh, this is just another, you know, person. It's just another girl, you know, Christian person just saying that they're coming from the Lord. I just break that skepticism. I really do. Because trust me, there are some weird things out there, but this video is not a weird thing. This video is not a weird thing. This is nothing but the Holy Spirit. This is nothing but the Holy Spirit. And I want that known so that you know, if, you, if you're not interested in the Holy Spirit, then this video isn't for you. But if you're curious about the Holy Spirit and what he has to say, then this video is for you. And so I'm going to just pray before I um, release this prophetic word. Um, and I want to prepare your hearts. Because I believe that there's a lot of skepticism. I believe that there's a lot of um doubt that jesus even moves and works like this anymore but he does the holy spirit does so um, i want to pray for your heart so you can properly receive whatever you need to receive from what the holy spirit has to say 
So, Father God, I come before you right now, Lord, and I praise you. I exalt you. There is no name like yours, Jesus. You are you are holy. You are the El Shaddai. You are the great I am. You are the everlasting Father. You are our Prince of Peace. I keep repeating that recently because it's just I love hearing all your different names and characteristics. And Father God, um, I just want to come before you and I want to praise you for the fact that you do speak to people today. You are speaking with, you know, the, the rhema words today. And you are speaking through your Logos word today, but you are speaking through your Rhema word today. And you are active. You are speaking. You are leading your people. And I pray right now, Father, that you would help this individual understand and discern the days with you, Holy Spirit. That they would have the right heart to receive whatever they need to receive from this. Bring them back to your heart, Father. And I pray, God, that if there's any skepticism, any judgment, any any um, wrong spirit try, like, trying to distort this video in any way in this person's mind, I rebuke that in the mighty name of Jesus. This person will hear the truth from the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit alone. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And there's one other thing the Holy Spirit wants me to say before I get into this. This could be quite lengthy, so grab your snacks. <laughs> um, but there is one thing uh, that you need to know about this. I'm not going to add scripture verses. And I know, you're like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, I'm not going to add scripture verses. But what I'm going to ask what you do is anytime, anytime you hear something, like, you know, that's the Holy Spirit speaking, anytime you hear something, and you're like, oh, that reminds me of this. Write that passage down and after the video or pause the video, whatever you feel like doing. Um, look up that verse. Look up that passage. Because I'm not adding um, scripture into this because this is something the Holy Spirit will get me to do sometimes. So that it challenges the religious people to get out of their box and realize that Jesus is speaking. He's moving and he's working. And he does not need to have a prophetic word. And have um, just this specific scripture attached to it. He can do that. He does do that. But what, what every single prophetic word needs to include is his heart. His heart and the truth of the things that he teaches. Okay, so so that's what we need to be discerning. We need to move away from, well, if they don't have a scripture verse in their thing, they're, Jesus isn't speaking through them. That is very arrogant and that is not right. And I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I see where you're coming from, but it's not right. So I'm not going to add a scripture verse, um, but there will be scripture verses that are going to pop into your mind that the Holy Spirit's going to plunk in your mind. And um, he's going to really bring you revelation within that deeper revelation than even I'm just going to be sharing today because he just builds upon what he speaks. Okay. So we're going to get into this because I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Okay. So, you know, 2020, it happened. A lot of shaking, a lot of shaking. Um, it was and really crazy when you think about it, what literally the whole world went through. 2021, also crazy, also crazy. So much, you know, in 2020, it was like, we're starting to get our boxes kind of broken, a little shaking, a little all this stuff. And it's just like, whoa, this is crazy. And, you know, a lot of people had to pause for a second. And I honestly think the pause helped to prepare them for 2021 because 2021 was very, um, for some, you were very isolated. I know I was. Um, others, you were really out there. You were, you were out there very busy doing a lot of things. And what we noticed in 2021 is there was a lot of lines drawn in the sand. And 2020 started this, but 2021, it was like, it was like, you know, when there's sand on the ground and you start to draw a line, it was like in 2020, the line was starting to slowly be drawn. And then in 2021, the line just kept drawing to now at the end of 2021, the line has, is drawn. The line is drawn and there's legitimately two sides. There's two sides. There are people who are following the Holy Spirit and there's people who are not. The two sides. Those are the two sides. And I know you're like, whoa, it can't be that easy. No, seriously. There's two sides drawn in the sand. People being led by the Holy Spirit and people not. And it's very obvious who is and who isn't. So that's what 2021 has done. Okay? It, it's brought a line in the sand and it said, you know what? Choose. It's literally that scripture verse. 
Choose today whom you will serve. People have chosen. People have chosen. You have made a choice to either listen to the Holy Spirit or to be like, nah, I'm just going to do my own thing. Okay? Those are, that's where we're at. Two parties, two groups, two, not even parties, don't get political on me. Two, two groups, two groups. Holy Spirit led and people just not listening to the Holy Spirit to listen to other things. Other things, not, not Jesus. Okay? So that's where we are right now in 2021. We're wrapping it up in, oh my goodness, like two and a half weeks. Wow. Crazy. I don't know if that blows you away. Blows me away. What also blows me away is how much I need water right now because it is dry. Get your water in you, by the way, because hydration. Anyway, so that's where we are. 2021. Lines drawn in the sand. People have chosen. People have chosen. Okay. So let's talk about 2022. 2022 is going to be known on a large scale as... You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. What you sowed in the ground, largely in 2021, and in 2020, and uh, yeah, and years before, but, but largely in 2021, what you sowed in the ground is going to reap in 2022. You're going to reap what you sow. And now for Jesus followers, those of you who you know, you're like, wow, I've been... I've been toiling in the fields. I've been, I've been really going to work. I've been doing the nitty gritty. I've been doing these things. I've been putting Jesus first. I'm actually closer in my walk with him than I've ever been before. Well, friends, you are going to reap amazing things. You are going to literally reap amazing things. Like, like tangibly, like hear me out because I know, I know that in your life, You've had to give up a lot. You've had to like just believe in faith for things. And believing in faith is so beautiful because you literally get to see dreams and visions. You get to hear from God. You you get to just believe and stand firm and you're like, I know it's going to happen. But you will actually get to hold, to see, to, to touch the very things that Jesus promised you. The very things that Jesus promised you, you will get to touch in 2022. And I know you're thinking, well, You know, he promised me a lot and I don't know how that's going to happen in 2022. Like, that's crazy. No, trust me. You will start to see those things just like showing up in crazy ways in 2022, like very quickly. Don't put a timeline on it. Careful now. (laughs) With any of this, with any of this, don't put timelines on it. Don't box God in, okay? Just let him do what he's going to do when he's going to do it, okay? But... You're going to reap what you sow, okay? That's that's largely, like, like just the overall, overall concept is you're going to reap what you sow, and you're going to reap what you sow double. So for Jesus followers, you're going to reap what you sow double. So you're not just going to, you know, you're not just going to be reaping and getting, like, you know, the bare minimum, or like, oh, yeah, this is what you should. No, like, you're going to have double You are going to have so much that Jesus is literally, you're going to have to be so close to Jesus to steward it all. And you're going to know if this is for you. But like, I'm telling you, a good, a good chunk of you who are are being led by the Holy Spirit, not Christian, hear me out, hear me out. There's a difference. There's a difference. Holy Spirit led people who are, who are following the Holy Spirit, you are are going to be floored with the double portion. Just like the lady, um, I believe it was Elijah. Elijah, he, he found this widow and her son. And the widow said, oh, all I have is oil. Because Elijah said, well, hey, can you make me something to eat? And um, the widow said, all I have is oil in my house. And I don't have a lot because we're in a lack full time. Um, you know, there's a bit of a shortage in my area. And Elijah was like, just make me something. So with the last portion of what she had, she made Elijah food. And then God blessed this family with the things that they already had. He just multiplied them and sustained them with the things that they already had. But they like had a double portion of the things that they had. So watch as the Holy Spirit, like the things that you have, the gifts that you already have inside of you, the, you know, connections you already have, like he's going to double those. And then he's also going to send more. 
Like, get ready. Get ready for that, Jesus followers. But those of you who are, are not following the Holy Spirit, and you've chosen, you've chosen other things. You've chosen, you've chosen, um, you know, to not follow Jesus. And you've just been doing your own thing. You quite frankly are like, I don't even care. And even, this is the sad part, even those of you who have been sitting in churches your whole life, you've been sitting there and you call yourself a Christian, but you're not listening to the Holy Spirit. You're not being led by him. Quite frankly, you have even... When's the last time that you asked him his opinion? Yeah, those of you. <clears throat> You're going to reap what you sow. And it will be double. Um, it will be double. There will be situations that start to happen that will be devastating. And, I, and I'm not prophesying bad things. I'm, I don't want to, I'm not trying to prophesy any looming, like, horrible things over you. That's not my heart for you. But our actions have consequences or blessings attached to them. And so there will be some devastation that hits your homes. And what you need to know about that is because it will be double, um, and the things that you see in the world will feel like double devastation because you're not looking at it with the Holy Spirit's eyes. Um, and you need to know something that with the Holy Spirit, you would see the Father's heart and what's going on. But because you're not surrendered to the Holy Spirit, because you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, you can't see those things. So you're going to be very hurt. Because you're going to look at what goes on in the world and you're going to say, how can there ever be a God if this stuff is going on? How can there ever be a God if this is even allowed to happen? If I'm allowed to live through this, if I'm allowed to see this, if I'm allowed to feel this, how can there ever be a God? And in that moment, Jesus will meet you there. He's going to meet you there. And he's going to reveal his love to you. If you cry out to him and you say, how could there ever be a God? God, if you're real, how could there ever be a God? He's going to show up to you in powerful ways. But there might be some pain to get there. Because you just didn't seek Jesus' heart. So he wanted to guide you to stop you from, from experiencing as much pain as possible. But you said, well, I don't care. I'm just going to do my own thing or whatever. This is just what I need to do. And uh, there will be some painful consequences. But don't you dare think that Jesus won't be there with you. Don't you dare think for a second. If you are alone, if you are in pain, if you are lost, literally like, you know, if something happens and you're just lost or you're, you feel lost or you feel abandoned or you feel <clears throat> all these things, don't ever think for a second that Jesus is not there. He is waiting for you to call out to him. He doesn't want anyone. He, it's not in his heart for anyone to perish and have like, I don't know, like to be destroyed or have horrible things happen. That's not his heart for you. But if your choices lead you somewhere, you have free will, you have a choice. So the Holy Spirit will be like, all right. He's going to try to woo you, going to try to say, hey, don't do that, do this, don't do this. And then if you're like, well, I don't care, I'm going to do my own thing. He's like, okay, okay, I'll let you do your thing. But then when you get in pain, when you are in trouble, when you have that devastation hit, and you say, God, I'm just sorry, I didn't listen, I'm sorry, like this is devastating, can you help me? The Holy Spirit's like, of course, of course, let me help you. Let me heal your heart. Let me, let me swoop on in and show you how I can provide through this. Because Jesus' grace is so big. But it takes a, a humbled, repentant heart to receive his grace. Okay. So that's, that's the chief, what's going to happen to the two camps. The two camps of people. Okay. And you have to keep in mind that all of this is to start to prepare for an end time harvest. And when I say end time harvest, let's break that down because I don't want to confuse you. 
Jesus is coming back soon. Soon could literally mean 100 years. Soon could mean tomorrow. Soon could be in 2022. Soon could be in 2040. Like, I don't know. I, I, I literally don't know the timing. Don't even come to me for that. But what I do know is he is coming soon. Every single day we're getting closer. That is facts. So what happened in 2020 and 2021, it exposed things. It, it, it revealed and pulled back the gunk, the junk, the true heart intentions of people. So now that's out there. Now that's out there. You think you're hiding? You're not hiding. <laughs> it's out there. It's out there now. It's exposed. It's out there. So now what the Lord wants to do is instead of keeping things all hidden, because that's where things fester and get gross, just like, you know, if you got like a cut and you keep that sucker under that band-aid for too long, sometimes it gets like more infected. You need to let the air at it sometimes. Just like get some air. Now what's going to start, you know, like happening is we're going to actually see true healing in people's hearts. We're going to actually start seeing the truth come out. We're going to actually start seeing, especially in 2022, we're going to start, we're going to start seeing people um, want to know about who Jesus is because now they're seeing the lies for what they are and they're starting to see the truth. So they're like, hmm, I'm curious now. I'm curious now. And because of what the Holy Spirit's exposed, you know, there's actually going to be way more people in 2022 walking and moving in the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Not just, you know, in their own selfish desires or in their own things or are under other spirits that mimic the Holy Spirit. No, no, no. They're going to be walking in the power and the love and the authority of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. And so um, what we're going to really start seeing is what we call end time. So that just means, you know, the times when Jesus is coming back soon. Like we're in those, you know, like, oh, he's almost here. You know, those are the end time. So an end time harvest just means a lot of people coming to Jesus very, very quickly to prepare for his return, which is so exciting because we are literally going to start to see. I, I'm not saying that's in 2022 because the Holy Spirit has not shared that with me. I don't know when it's going to like descend. Could be in 2022. Very well. Could be. Um, but it's going to start for sure. Like really the preparation for it in 2022. Um and it's going to be so, so powerful. So you have to understand in both camps, that's what we're doing. We're preparing for an end time harvest. Some will be on the, you know, when the Bible says be the head, not the tail. Um, some will be on the head of that and really leading that because they're following the Holy Spirit. And, and, and he's equipping them and, and repositioning them. And others will be the tail. They will be at the bottom end of it because they just have not chosen to put Jesus first, but he still wants to involve them. And so if you if you have a humble heart and that like tail end group, the group that's not following Jesus, like if you have a humble heart and receive him in 2022, come on, like <laughs> that's amazing. But there'll just be a little bit of pain to get to that point because of your choices. Um. So that's kind of the over, overall, you're going to reap what you sow. You're going to reap what you sow. And right now, um, I, I really want to talk about and talk into the Holy Spirit-led community. Um, because that's my heart. That's my heart. I want to I wanna help prepare you guys. I want to help prepare everybody. But if people aren't going to listen, like some of those who are not following the Holy Spirit and they just could care less. I'd, I'd rather spend time and energy at this specific video as the Holy Spirit's leading me right now to talk to you Holy Spirit-led people who just genuinely want to serve the Lord in 2022. In 2022, you need to go for it. Okay? You're going to go for it. Jesus is literally going to equip you with everything you need. You already have a lot of what you need right now inside of you and at your disposal. But the Holy Spirit's going to show you and bring light and shed light on the things that you already have and the things that he wants to bring into your life that might be new. Because he's doing a new thing. And he wants you to partner with him. He wants you to go for it. Don't let any voices in your head, don't let any demonic things hold you back from what Jesus is telling you to do. He's been telling you to write that book, do it. 
he's been telling you to draw that that painting and you know I don't know have an art gallery do it he's been telling you to write that album in a creative way do it he's been telling you to start your own business do it he's been telling you to I don't know start a clothing line do it he's been telling you to uh start a publishing company do it he's been telling you to I don't know um open a gym I don't know do it he's been telling you to uh partner with people in the church and start kind of like you know showing up in 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 these um what am I looking for like homeless communities and start homeless outreach groups in your in your town do it he's been telling you to stock up and store up food so you can have your own food bank and really give back to people do it Every single thing that you set your hands out to do in 2022, as you are being led by the Holy Spirit to do so, you are legitimately going to succeed. And this is not some prosperity gospel. This is not some like everything you touch will turn to gold. Like I'm not trying to sound superficial or fake. That's not, that's not my heart here. But you have to understand that the times and the days that we are in, the Holy Spirit is pouring out himself on people in such powerful ways so that Jesus can be famous so that Jesus can his his name can be glorified in powerful ways but that takes resources and he's going to give you resources to do what he's asking you to do if he pro- if he guides you somewhere he's going to provide okay he's going to provide for you so just know that it's going to be crazy, but you need to go for it. Don't let the fears from the past, don't let, oh, that didn't work. That's fine. But now it's going to. If you're putting Jesus first and he's still putting that on your heart, go and do it as unto the Lord. Do not be held back. But what you need to understand is every opportunity is not a, every good opportunity is not a God opportunity, okay? So you're going to get opportunities because they're going to see the Holy Spirit's anointing and gifting on your life. Do not jump the gun on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, or even tenth. Don't jump the gun. You need to pray. You need to wait on the Lord. Because if you partner with the wrong people in this time, it, like you got to be really, really careful. So ask the Holy Spirit for discernment before you ever partner with a single person. You ask for discernment. You pray into it. You wait for his approval. Wait for the Holy Spirit's approval. Okay, because there will be opportunity upon opportunity to, you know, showcase who Jesus has crafted in you and what he's doing in your life. But just don't get caught up with like, oh, nothing's been working. Nothing's working. Oh, here's an opportunity. I'm just going to jump on it. Don't don't jump on it too quickly because the Holy Spirit's like, wait, you will know if you if you don't have full confidence, if you're not like 100 percent sure of moving in a direction, just wait. Just wait, because the Holy Spirit will give you certainty in this day, because he doesn't want you to be confused, okay? So this is something we can look forward to as Jesus followers. We are going to be like getting our, um, you know, we're, we're putting our uh, hands to the plow here. We're getting going, you know, and something in the uh, story of Nehemiah, actually, I think it's Nehemiah 4 eight or something it's in the fourth chapter of Nehemiah I love Nehemiah it's like one of my favorite books um they're building the wall they're rebuilding and uh you just read the story of Nehemiah I'm not going to go into the story of Nehemiah but they're rebuilding just look into the story if you're curious about that and honestly read Nehemiah that's just some tips before you go into 2022 read Nehemiah read it just read that story because It's important and very timely book to read going into 2022. Okay, so literally in Nehemiah 4, uh, it said like everyone, um, they had a sword in one hand and they were building with their other hand. Like that's kind of the concept. It's not the actual word for word verse, but that's what we will be doing as Jesus followers. Because don't you think... Don't you dare think for a second that while you're building, while you are building with the Lord, what he's asking you to do, that that the enemy will not send people to be like, this is stupid. What are you even doing? We don't do it this way. Or, oh, this isn't how it's done. Or, you're wrong. You're not doing this right. Don't you dare think for a second that there will not be spiritual attacks on the things that you're trying to build with Jesus. Because there will be. I'm just telling you right now. But 
you will have the grace to fight them. You will have the grace to fight them because what will you be doing? Working away. And then the minute there's like an attack, you're like, get away from me in the name of Jesus. And you just swing that sword around. And you're just like, not today. Like, don't even touch me. And you will be so confident that you'll just keep flinging them off with your sword. You'll be building, you'll be building, flinging, building, flinging. You'll just be going off. Okay, and Jesus is going to provide for you the strength and the energy and the discernment to know who's in your life that is going to help you build and who's in your life that's going to discourage you from building. Because I'm telling you, there's going to be people who try to weasel their way in, maybe even from your past, I don't know, or just new, but they'll try to weasel their way in. They'll be like, hey, hey, I'm just trying to help. You know, they come in all, all nice and dandy. And then in their true heart intentions, they're like, I'm literally not for you like they they there's there's going to be snakes i know you've heard that probably but there's going to be snakes so don't let them slither on in what do you do you cut that off you cut that snake off with the with the sword with the lord with the holy spirit just 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 be like no nah -uh. you're not gonna slither in here you're not gonna slither in here not today you're not gonna disrupt my building in the name of jesus like let's go so you need to know there will be snakes okay there will be snakes but you can trample over them. So don't even worry. Don't even worry. But just expect it to happen. Be vigilant in prayer. Always keep Jesus first. Like literally, I can't stress this the most. Well, I can't stress stress this the most or more. I don't know what I was trying to say, but I like that. I can't stress that. Wait, I can't stress this the most. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. Anyway. Um. Oh my goodness. That literally just made me laugh. <laughs> Okay, stress is the most. Oh man, no, we're not getting distracted today. We're not getting distracted. I'm gonna keep this rolling because yeah, the enemy does not, he doesn't want me to share the remainder of this. And so he's kind of, he's throwing, he's throwing some punches in my brain right now and trying to get me to forget what the Holy Spirit has been telling me and what he literally just told me. So I'm gonna pray right now because we're not gonna, I'm not going to, this isn't going to get throated. See, I'm trying to build with the Lord and the snakes be slithering, but we're going to cut this off. So in the name of Jesus, I pray right now that if there's anything trying to distort this word, trying to stop this word, trying to fog my mind from hearing the Holy Spirit, you are gone in the mighty name of Jesus because I will share what the Lord wants me to share. I will speak what the Holy Spirit wants me to speak and you do not get to tell me what I'm going to say. You do not get to hide the Holy Spirit's voice from my mind. That is not going to happen in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Jesus over this video. I plead the Holy Spirit's just, you know, anointing over my heart and over my mouth, God, that only the Holy Spirit would be spoken in what he wants. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We're back because we're not, we're not, we don't fight with that. We don't, I mean, we do fight that, but we don't mess with that. So you will be, you will be fighting with one hand and building with the other. Okay? And the Holy Spirit's going to equip you. He's going to equip you. But the attacks will come. So you need to know that. Um, but in 2022, as, as, uh, as Jesus followers, as, you know, people who are, you're putting Jesus first, right? And, and you love him. He's going to reposition you. He's going to reposition you. For some of you, that will be literally moving. For others, that will be maybe changing churches, changing work, changing jobs, changing, I don't know what it is, but he's going to reposition you. And it's going to look very different. And it might be challenging because you got to understand you've been doing one thing for a while, but he's going to reposition you to do a, a totally different thing. But it's going to be like matching your heart's desires and your skill set. So get ready for that because we are being repositioned. We are being moved and placed to where we need to be around people who need to be in our life, who are going to support us, who are going to fight for us, who are going to help us build. Because we need that. There's a lot of Jesus followers like, I know I, I've had this where I've been isolated. And that's been for good reason for the, the Holy Spirit, at least in my life. And the Holy Spirit is going to reposition us in places where he's already prepared people's hearts to fight for us. He's already prepared people's hearts to, to really... Um, partner with us to want to partner with us and it's going to be so beautiful to see how the holy spirit brings us together because just like in 2022 you know two and two 
Um, I really believe that the Holy Spirit is going to bring even couples together. Like if you're single, don't worry. Like <laughs> the Lord's going to bring that person to you at the right time. But it might even be like you and your friend and their friend and their friend. Like, but like couples together, like groups together, like, you know, pairings together, like 22, like two and two, like pairings together. Like we are coming together. 2022 is not a time for Jesus followers to be isolated. Do not let anybody tell you that. I don't care what I do not, whatever anybody says. And they're like, no, we need to be isolated. Don't be isolated unless the Holy Spirit says, hey, take a step back for a second, do it and obey him. But I'm telling you on a large scale, Jesus followers are being asked to partner together, are being asked to 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 um, support each other, to to create together, to build together. That's what we are called to do in 2022. That's the time we are called to do. So do not be fooled, okay? You need to trust the Lord. He's going to place you and position you in the right communities with the right people. And you will build together. You will have just, you will build with the, the Holy Spirit, the one Holy Spirit. And you will be so unified. You will, you have never experienced something like that. You will be so unified. He is unifying those who are following him. Not just, not Christians. Those who are following the Holy Spirit. Ugh. But. Uh, yes, I know. But you will be unified. Yes. But you're anointing in 2022 together and, and individually. Is going to frustrate. Like viciously frustrate. Religious spirits. Largely in the Christian community. There'll be other religious spirits, but religious spirits. <sighs> it'll be, it'll get vicious at times. And you need to be okay with having tough conversations. And you need to be okay with speaking the truth of the Holy Spirit to, you know, Christian people. You're not hating on them. You're not looking down on them. You're speaking the truth. But only... And you need to hear me out. Only speak the truth if you know the Father's love. Because then it will be coded with a very deep compassion and authority that is needed. Because there will be people um, that you will be shocked who will start speaking against you. Who will start saying, they're not of Jesus. They don't, they don't come with Jesus. They don't have the Holy Spirit. They're not this way. Unless the Holy Spirit asks you to speak truth where the lies are, because he might do that. I'm going to ask you to ignore that. The Holy Spirit does not need you to prove yourself. He'll be your vindication. So only speak over, only speak into that if the Holy Spirit's asking you to, because you do not need to prove yourself. But you need to understand that uh, they're going to, the, I've already said this on TikTok before, but there, there's going to be this narrative that we all need to unite together. It's going to start kind of like coming. It's already kind of here, but it's going to start getting more aggressive too in 2022. Like, oh, we just need to come together. We just need to all come together and just unite. Like we've been through so much. Let's just, we're all in this together. Let's just unite. And, you know, Christian communities are going to hop on that wagon and say, well, yeah, because Jesus wants unity, so let's just do this. But Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit-led believers in 2022, do not unite with them. We will unite with each other. We are called to be united with each other. But do not unite with a narrative that is not honoring to Jesus. Do not. Do not partner with it. And there will be Jesus, there will be, not Jesus followers, there will be Christians who say, well, you're the, you're the reason we're, we're, you know, being called people who aren't unified because you don't want to join us. You don't want to partner with this. You don't want to partner with this initiative. You don't want to join this. So you're the problem. You're, you're causing an issue. You're disrupting things. And what you're going to do is you're going to listen to the Holy Spirit and you're going to speak what you need to say in the, in that position, in that place. And then you're just going to walk. You're just going to walk away. 
And you're going to know that Jesus is walking with you. He's standing with you. Do not take those words to heart. Do not take anything like that to heart. Because you need to understand that Jesus followers, Holy Spirit led people will be the most united people. But why do you think we need to be the most united people? Because we will have many against us. But greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. So just like, you know, you see it all the time. Jesus will use like small groups of people to do big things. So don't, do not fear the magnitude coming against you because the one who's behind you is way stronger. And he's the winner in the end. So I'm going to need you to understand there's going to be a lot, like, hokey stink. There's going to be a lot of tension in the quote-unquote church. And when I say church, I mean, like, the, the under the Christian umbrella. Not, not the, the Holy Spirit-led people. You're going to, we're going to be so unified. It's going to be, like, literally going to blow your mind. But, but the Christian, under the Christian umbrella, ooh, man. Get, I'm telling you, get ready to fight. And I don't say that with a cocky way. I don't say that with a divisive heart. I say that with a heart that's like, you got to watch out. Because the, this, is, this is going to be a vicious battle between religious spirits and the Holy Spirit. The ones who have an appearance of godliness but deny its power. Yeah. The Holy Spirit led people, we're, we have, we're gonna have to come up against that. And the sad thing is, there's a lot of them. Um, but as long as you lead with a heart of love, rooted, rooted and established in a heart of love, like that's found in Jesus, you'll you'll be okay. Follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. But do not, do not despise hard conversations. They need to happen. And if you got somebody yelling at you, let them yell. If you got somebody just saying all these things to you, let them say it. Let them get it out. Let them get it out. Because you know that what they're saying is not the truth. You know what Jesus has called you to. And who he's called you to be. So rest in that, okay? But there's going to be a lot of tension under the umbrella of Christianity. A religious battle, like we've, honestly, I don't think we've seen something like this. But it's going to be very interesting. So that's why it's important to keep that sword in your hand when you're building. Because you'll be building and fighting all at the same time. And what you need to what you need to know is in 2022 there's going to be a lot of lack. There's going to be a lot of lack in like every sense of the word. Um in the world. A lack of love, a lack of peace, a lack of resources, a lack of supplies, a lack of sanity, a lack of health, a lack of safety, a lack of all these things. But what you need to know is when you follow Jesus, you will have an abundance of all those things. And I had a vision a while ago, and the Holy Spirit wants me to share it. I had a vision, and there was a sick-looking person who looked literally like death. Like, it, I'm not exaggerating. It's just that's how I knew it in vision. But they were alive, but they just did not look good. And it was like they were a part of the world. Like, um, how I saw it, I don't think I mentioned it in this vision, but when I shared it the first time, but the Holy Spirit wants me to share it now, is it was like the sickly person was um, kind of on, like, by a city. Like, it's like the city and them was, like, gray. And just like despairingly gray. 
And, um, and then on the other side was, um, this like person. I don't know how to describe that. Or person. Yeah, there were people, but it, it's weird. It was a weird vision for me, but anyway, it was like, they were all vibrant with life, but in like with the field and like vibrant with life. And the sickly person walked over to the vibrant life person and literally just said to them, like, why, literally, why are you like this? Like, you don't have the things I have. Like, you don't have it. So why are you like this? And the life, the full of life person just said, well, I have Jesus. And then that was the vision. So there's just going to be this lack, this despair, this like darkness to the world. But then Jesus followers are going to shine all the more. Their light is going to be so bright. We're going to be so bright. And it's not because we have all the worldly things necessarily. Some might. Jesus is going to bless people. But but it's not it's not even that. It's like it's just it just doesn't make sense and and people are like well, why because you see what's going on in the world and yet you are so content and happy and joyful and you have peace and you have self-control you have all these things and how you're not addicted to anything how and then we will respond well, well jesus like do you want to know him like you want to chat like you know and we will be the light jesus doesn't want to hide us under you know like a little thing he doesn't want us hidden anymore he wants us our light to be on a hill he wants our light to be on a hill shining out like a beacon of light the holy spirit wants to be a beacon of light bringing people to his light in you and in me if you follow him so there will be lack in this world in 2022 extreme like extreme, like I'm not exaggerating. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make you fearful. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just trying to prepare you. Um, there will be lack. The Lord has shown me there will be a famine. Oh yeah, there'll be food shortages. There will be. Um, there'll be a lack. But with Jesus, there's abundance. He's come to give us life and life to the full. And we will see who's truly living out of that in 2022. Um, and I'm going to need you to watch America very closely in 2022. Oh, she is going to go through a lot. But what gets reborn? What gets... Um, reestablished in her it's going to be very 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 powerful the lord's not done with america don't don't let anybody tell you that um but it could get messy to get to that point so be mindful of that and especially on the political stream um Right now, things aren't as they seem. A lot of people know that. But on the American political stream, just get ready for a revolution. Um, new days are coming to America. But there's some old stuff that needs to be settled up. Some injustices, some wrong decisions some um wrong calls some unjust final um numbers some elections that were not correct so watch america don't don't discredit what what Jesus wants to do with America. Um, things aren't as they seem right now, and they are. America's getting ready for a pretty crazy revolution. 
and just prepare your hearts for what you will see in the days ahead, especially in the beginning of 2022. It is going to look messy. Messy. But I need you to understand that messy isn't always a bad thing. It's paving the way for better days. Because there's a lot of stuff we still need to do for Jesus on this earth. And what happens to America in 2022 is going to help pave the way for that change that needs to happen. So don't mock. Don't mock America. There'll be people who will. Oh, will there be people who mock America? Mock. They already are, but they'll just watch. But do not let Jesus follower. Do not mock. Do not mock a single country. Do not mock anybody. Just let Jesus do a work. But you need to watch America. Because the shifts that happen there, it'll cause a ripple effect for a little bit. And it's a good ripple effect. You think that things are going one way, but little do you know that Jesus is saying, not yet. I still have some things to do. And if Jesus says, not yet, it doesn't matter who thinks that what should occur, it won't occur unless Jesus gives it the okay. And he's not, he is flipping the script He's changing the narrative. If the narrative looks one way right now, just flip it because that's what he's doing. That is what's happening. That is what you will see in 2022. Like, <laughs> it's going to shake so many people to see this narrative be flipped, to see this narrative be switched. They're going to feel they're going to feel betrayed. They're going to be like, wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. What? How can that change so quickly? And that's where the messiness starts really, really coming in. But you need to understand demolition before restoration in 2022. There'll be a lot of wrecking ball moments Ones that will seemingly just destroy everything. But it's not destroying as much as it is preparing. And when they start yelling at you, protect the climate. The climate is changing. The world is falling apart. It's on us to put it back together. We need to work together. We just need to do this. You just need to give this up. You just need to do this so that so that we can have better days, so that our generations ahead can have better days. The climate is changing. The climate is changing. So you need to change your lifestyle. So you need to do this. Just know that that's just another control tactic. It is not on you or me to fix this broken world. We can't. It is way too broken for that. It is way too, it is, it is fading away more and more every single day. And that's the point. Satan wants you to think that this world is all that there is. And that once it's gone, you, like there's nothing. But you have to understand that this world is fading away and it's not... It's never going to be, we can't reverse what's already been done because it's so deep. The only one who could reverse it is Jesus. He can do it. And he's going to bring a new, a brand new day, you know, when eternity is here. When all that goes down. 
But right now, do not be fooled and manipulated and deceived by fear into thinking that it's on you to fix this broken world and to make all this um, climate change go away. It's not. Do not let the pressure fall on you. Do what you can. Be responsible. Steward well what Jesus has given you. Don't treat the planet bad. No, that's not right. But don't get an obsessive fear thinking that it's on you to preserve and protect this earth because it's not. Jesus will help this earth be sustained as long as it's needed. And then he'll do what he's going to do and bring about that new eternal day. So do not get fooled when they start yelling climate change this, climate change that. This is the laws we're putting in place because of that. This is our mandates that we're doing now. This is this. Don't be fooled by that. That's like another controlling tactic. Okay? And just as, just as out of the blue that this whole COVID thing happened. It's how quick it's just going to, oops, it's not here anymore. And then there'll be another thing. Because there are things you don't understand that are going on behind the scenes and a greater plan that has been being planned for years. And there's just going to be next steps to it in 2022. So you need to understand these things. And you need to know that in 2022, there's been such a, in 2020 and 2021, there's been a fear mongering ness. And in the early part of 2022, there will still be more fear mongering. In fact, it will probably intensify and be to its peak of fear mongering. So you need to guard your heart against that because what you're going to see is going to make you fearful if you don't have Jesus. If you don't have his love for you, you're going to get fearful. But do not get fearful. That's not Jesus's heart for you. Where perfect love is, it casts out all fear and Jesus is perfect love. So do not get fearful. I'm going to say it again. Do not get fearful. Don't let your eyes deceive you. If you have Jesus with you, you do not need to fear. If you need to turn off the news, if you need to, you know, do that, do it. If you need to not hear certain things, then don't, don't put that in your mind. But you need to not be fearful because you're going to hear, especially beginning of 2022, you're going to hear and see things that are going to disturb you. But, um... Do not fear. If, if Jesus is with you, it doesn't matter who's against you and what's going on. Just pray into those things. Intercede for those situations. And trust Jesus. But that's what's been going on. But you're going to start to see in, tw in 2022 the fear of the Lord go throughout the earth. The reverential awe and respect for Jesus is going to start sweeping nations. And that gets me pumped. So prepare your heart for these things. Because honestly, honestly, without the Holy Spirit, especially early 2022, you are going to ask yourself, if there's a God, why? So I ask you right now, please get alone with Jesus and get him to prepare your heart because there's extremely good things that are going to happen, but there are extremely bad things that are going to happen in 2022. That's kind of just life, but especially in the days that we're living in, there will be extremes of both and then things in the middle too. But you need to remember the over the overarching co um, concept 2022 is you will reap what you sow you will reap what you sow and you will reap what you sow double
And if there's anything that you are addicted to, that you are attached to, that you can't live life without, I'm asking that you surrender that to Jesus because addictions, like I'm talking social media, I'm talking always having noise on in the background. I'm talking, yeah, for sure, alcohol, drugs, even sex, um, you know, human connection, like, you know, um, like if you actually can't maintain your life without these substances, without these things, and like it would make you stress to not have these things, I just really ask that you get close to Jesus and realize that he is your everything, that he's all that you truly do need. Because you're going to really need to remember that in 2022. Especially if you if you don't follow Jesus. Um, you're going to need to remember that. That these things that you are attached to. They're not all that you need. And they're actually. There's a good chance that if you can't live without them. If you can't go a day without them. They're hurting you. And especially in 2022. With all the disruption. With all the change. With all the shifting. With all the interesting things that are going to go down. It could deprive you of some of those things. And so I suggest with the wisdom and in, in the um, perspective of the Holy Spirit to start weaning yourself off of those things. Ask the Holy Spirit to show up in your life. And I pray against your addictions right now in the name of Jesus that you would have self-control with the Holy Spirit. Please, please. Take this seriously. Because if there's lack on this earth, which there will be, and we have all these people addicted to all these things, what do you think is going to start happening? Chaos and people won't be thinking clearly. So I don't want you to be a part of that. And that's why it's so important to have the Holy Spirit coding your every word, your every action, because you are going to need his anointing. You are going to need him in so many ways. We always need him, but you're going to need him in so many ways because imagine trying to talk to somebody, trying to barter with somebody, trying to talk reasonably with somebody who's literally losing their mind because they're deprived of something. The only way that you will be able to talk to them, the only way that you can bring freedom to them is with the Holy Spirit. And I'm talking like, you need to understand that 2022 is going to feel like a movie. It's going to feel like a movie. You think 2020 and 2021 was like, well, it's kind of crazy. No, like 2022 is going to feel like a movie. It's going to feel like a movie. So you need to understand that Jesus is real. He's moving, he's working, but 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 the things that you will see and the things like if the Holy Spirit's been telling you, "Hey, prepare this way, stock up on this, do this." Don't think it's crazy. It's not crazy because crazy things are going to happen in 2022 that need to occur to start bringing that demolition before the restoration. So do not look at things at surface level, you need the Holy Spirit to help you discern these days. And I'm really talking to those of you right now, like the, the Holy Spirit is just hitting this so hard. If you call yourself a Christian, if you call yourself a Christian, And you're going into 2022 and you're not listening to the Holy Spirit. You've, in fact, you don't even know, you don't even know the Holy Spirit. You're like, I have never heard the Holy Spirit. I don't even know how to discern the voice of the Holy Spirit. I don't even know that. But yet you're proclaiming Jesus's name. I'm going to ask you right now to humble your heart before the Lord and say, Jesus, show up to me. Holy Spirit, speak to me. Holy Spirit, move and work in my life. I need to hear your voice because I'm telling you, Jesus follower, I'm telling you, Christian person. If you do not have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you in this day and providing for you in 2022, you are literally going to walk away from God. Because, I mean, if you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, you're not following him, then I don't really know who you're following anyways. Um, I, I don't know. But 
But you are going to want nothing to do with God. You are going to want nothing to do to do with God. You are going to zone so much into your religion, to your theology, that you're going to forget God. You're going to just focus on all these things. And you're going to either settle in one of two of two places. You're going to settle with, well, you know, people just sin. So that's just going to happen. And this is all going to, people are just getting what's coming to them. And you're going to have this prideful, hurtful heart. Or, or you're going to, you're going to be in this camp. You're going to be over there like, well, why would God do this? Like, this doesn't make sense. He's not this. Well, I'm so scared. Like, I'm going to this. You're going to say, well, I guess it's because I did this or this, that, or maybe this is going on. When, if you had the Holy Spirit, you would know these are just the times and the days that we are in. And you need to have his discernment to know what you're doing. So Jesus follower, but especially those who claim to be a Christian. If you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, how are you going to lead people in this day? When, when stuff that's unexplainable, when you don't have the revelation from the Holy Spirit to move and work in these days, how are you going to lead people? Who are you leading people to? Because if you're not leading people to Jesus, then what, why are you, what are you doing? Why are you even a Christian? What, what does that even mean to you then if you're not leading people to Jesus, if you're not following the Holy Spirit, if you're not actually moving in the power of the Holy Spirit, in the power of the love of Jesus, what are you doing? Just what are you doing? I'm not judging you, but the Holy Spirit is burning this so strong in my heart that you need to try to understand this and get along with Jesus in these last few weeks of 2021. And say, God, speak to me. Come before the Lord with a humble heart and say, Jesus, speak to me. Speak to me. Holy Spirit, show up and lead and guide me. Because I'm telling you right now. Oh my goodness, the Holy Spirit is speaking so powerfully. I'm telling you right now that your theology, that your exegesis, that your dogmas, that your rituals, that all these things, they cannot help you in a time where it doesn't make sense, where things don't line up with your logic or your feelings. How are those things going to help you? How are you going to even know what to do? You need Jesus. You need the Holy Spirit. Because when those things don't make sense, when it's a totally new unprecedented day and you don't know how to go about it and you've read John 3, 16 so many times, but you don't even know what it means. How are you, how are you going to, how, how, when someone says, well, hey, why, what's going on? You say there's a God, what's going on? What are you going to say? Point them back to a scripture verse that you don't understand? You need to know the heart of Jesus. You need to know what the Holy Spirit is saying to you and walk in that. You need to know Jesus. And I pray right now that you would have a revelation of who Jesus is, that Holy Spirit, you would speak to this person, that they would humble their hearts and that there would be a heart of repentance that falls on them. God, that their that the religiousness would fall off of them in the name of Jesus. Because if they hold on to that religiousness going into 2022, they're going to be on the wrong side of the fight. And you won't you will not be fighting with them, but you will be fighting against them. I pray that they would know your love, Father, that every person would know your love, Father, and that they would look at this world with their with your eyes of faith, God, not their own eyes, that they would look at this world with what you are doing and what you want to do, not with their own logic or feelings, God, but that we would move and work and operate in 2022 with you, Holy Spirit, and, and that you would lead and guide us every single day of what we need to do. And because it's important to seek your counsel every single day so that we know what we need to do because these are unchartered waters these are crazy days and you are ushering in an end time harvest that is going to be so beautiful but the process to get there might be disruptive it might cause some you know um shifts and changes that might be messy but god is in the end going to be for our best god it's in the end going to shift and change things to bring in a day that has been like no other on this earth god that is going to usher in your holy spirit in such a powerful way holy Spirit, you're pouring yourself out on your sons and daughters in this in this day. We are going to be moving and shaking mountains. We are going to be breaking generational curses. We are going to be setting the captives free, God. 
We are not hidden anymore. We are like we are like a light on a hill that we are going to be a beacon of light in this dark world in 2022, God. Jesus, breathe your life on the dry bones, God. Wake up your bride, Jesus. Holy Spirit, wake us up. I'm so excited to see this unique group of Holy Spirit-led believers who are not going to look typical. They're not going to look just like the the cookie-cut religious people, but they're going to be real people serving you where they are. They're going to be real people sold out for you. They're going to be real people loving people like like you would love them. They're going to be real people just wanting to serve you with their whole hearts God but they're gonna look quirky they're gonna look different but that's okay because you've created us to be unique you you've created us and you've said that you know it doesn't matter what you've done in the past it doesn't matter because as soon as you receive Jesus his grace covers a multitude of sins his love covers a multitude of sins he covers a multitude of sins So God, I pray that we would not look down on the unique way that you're moving in this day, that we would not look down on how you want to do things because quite frankly, we're worshiping you anyway. So you, we want you to have your way, have your way, have your way, Jesus, in 2022. Oh, Jesus, let us hold the sword with one hand and build with the other and do what you've called us to do in 2022. Bring us together, unite us, Father. Unite the Holy Spirit-led people so that we can fight this good fight and share your truth in love. And we will move and operate in the compassionate, well-rounded love with you, Jesus. I worship and exalt you, Father, for who you are and that you you are just so holy and worthy and the fear of the Lord is going to descend on the earth in 2022. It's going to start to move and God, you are going to start to be famous in the entertainment world. You are going to start to be famous in in the music world. You're going to start to be famous in the business scene. You're going to start to be famous that there's going to be unique and creative ideas, God, that are literally going to be birthed from your throne room and when people ask when people say hey how did you come up with that there's going to be many people who say well Jesus he helped me do this the Holy Spirit led me to do this there's going to be people in the entertainment world who are already in there that come to Jesus and they're going to start churches they're going to start groups and the Holy Spirit's going to descend on them more than the churches that have already existed Jesus, be with your people. Be, be, be made known among your people, God. You still have a lot to do. You can do that in, at any point you want, in a second, in an instant, in four years, five years, ten years, twenty years. You got a lot to do, and you want to do it through your people, your Holy Spirit-led people. Have your way. And your Holy Spirit led people, God. We just want to honor you. We just want to serve you. We just want to exalt you and lift your name up. You are bringing, you are bringing the prodigals back home in droves, God. Like literally droves, like seas of prodigals coming back with such a revolutionary heart to serve you, to bring new creative ideas, to dust off the old religious, to dust off all the religion. You are going to bring them back with a rare love. I can't wait to see the prodigals love. Their hearts are going to be so unique. You're going to craft in them this, this, this purity that's unlike, it's just, so pure because you've made them into a new creation and it's going to frustrate the religious God. It's going to frustrate the religious. Your goodness is going to frustrate the religious in 2022. They're going to be so frustrated. But God, you are saying, you are saying, you are saying that you are good and you want to honor your people for what they've sown. They will reap and you want them to reap the good harvest and you want them to reap all the fruits of the spirit, God. Oh, it's going to be so amazing. But God, I do pray for the for the religious people's hearts that you would prepare them even now. God, I don't want them to be frustrated. I want them to know your goodness. But God, it is fact that your goodness will will um frustrate the the religious and the undignified um spirits that will be in 
these, these prodigals especially, these undignified, unpolished, just way of serving you <laughs> is going to frustrate and is going to, to just make the religious people doubt that God is even speaking through these people. But God, you will be speaking through these people because they're just real. They're just trying to follow you. And their hearts are pure before you. And you're making them new and made in your image more and more every single day. God, I'm looking forward to 2022. People have chose, Father. They've chose their side. Now we will see who stands. Because it's important whose side we're on right now. important whose side we're on right now it really is <sighs> praise you father <laughs> let's go jesus 2022 it's all about you <laughs> it's all about you <laughs> amen Wow, the Holy Spirit's moving and working. Um, <laughs> get ready for 2022. And if you are being led by the Holy Spirit, this is your year. This isn't, that's not some cliche anything, but this is your year. The Holy Spirit wants to use you in powerful ways. So receive what he is doing. Receive the good things that he has for you. Because remember, you sowed into good soil, so you're going to reap good things on here and in heaven even if the situations don't seem good all the time you know with the turbul turbulence yeah turbulence that goes on in the world you will reap what you sow and you're gonna you're gonna reap good things because god is good and he wants to show his goodness to his faithful few so just know that so thanks for listening. This was long. I had no idea where we were going with this. Um, but, but I'm so pumped. And I shouldn't say I have no idea. But I, I, have, I have ideas because I've been discerning with the Holy Spirit the times that we're in. But how he put this all together. I had no idea of how he was going to do this. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. So I want you to know that I had nothing prepared. There's no notes I was looking off of. There's no prompter. <laughs> Not that high tech. <laughs> This is just the Holy Spirit speaking and giving you some insight to prepare your hearts for 2022. There were some key verses that he mentioned throughout this. So look them up if you picked them up. And if you found any verses, comment them below because I'd be curious to see where the Holy Spirit led you. 2022 is coming and ready or not, you're going to see if the side that you picked is actually going to stand. And uh, you're going to see that very clearly. So thanks for listening and uh, bless you in all the ways.